Welcome back, YouTube. Back with another video. So this video is an update uh, on Soraya's first day of daycare. So if you haven't seen the video already, we posted a video of Soraya's first day of school, yep, yep. first day of daycare, and we just wanted to follow up with you um, to let you know how it went. She's been in daycare since January. She's almost been there for four months, so. Yeah. So I'm gonna start off with the first day a daycare, like I said in the video, if you watch, I was a little anxious, I was a little, you know, scared, but um, she actually was happy the first day. Yeah. Like when she first got there, she just ran in. Yes, she had she on one shoe and she just went in. I was surprised. I'm like, okay, she was, she didn't she didn't cry, nothing. She was happy, and when she came back, she was very excited. If you seen the video, mm -hmm. very excited. So the first day was a was a a, a success. All right. So, why did we decide to put Soraya in daycare? She had to go. <laughs> no, but honestly, she's full of energy um, and we wanted it to be used in the right way. Um, she was home with them. We really like took the time out to stay home with her so that I can go back to work. Yeah. But she needed structure. We were really good about naps and bedtime, I think. I mean, when she was home, she had structure. So. Yeah, but she wasn't being engaged in a way that would be good for her, like learning her development. And being so, yeah. yeah, because when you're busy, you don't have time for colors, letters, and yes. all of these other things. Yes, yes. Um, and sending her to daycare would do that and also get her social. She's the only child. She's not around children. She was born during the pandemic. She didn't see people mm -hmm. too much, right? That's kind of awkward. We don't want to awkward kid. <laughs> um, so we sent her to daycare so that she can make some friends and be around people and, and enjoy being a kid. So her four months of daycare, I feel like been great so far. Like mm -hmm. she's been coming home, saying more things now. She's a lot more social. She's excited almost every morning. She has friends, you know what I mean? She yes. has, it's like she looks forward she to seeing friends. her friends. Every time I go pick her up, I don't, I don't know if, if y'all follow her on Instagram, you will see like when I pick her up sometimes, um, you will see she was around her friends and they be calling her name. So many kids could talk, like could talk, talk. Yeah. Soraya! They be screaming her name, like Soraya, Soraya. I'm like, yo, <laughs> this is crazy. A little human. <laughs> It's been great so far. Like it, it, it makes her, it, it made her more social. Um, she's like, like I said, she's been talking a lot more. She listens more too. Like you can tell her, like put this down, give me this, and she would do it. She knows her colors a little bit. Um, her numbers. I see a lot more plus in her being in daycare. Another thing about her going to daycare, you know, it's not gonna be all sweet. You know, what I mean, there's some shortcomings. So, you know, what I mean, I'm gonna let Tay take away the shortcomings of this one. So one of the biggest shortcomings of Ryan going to daycare is that her immune system is like down. She gets sick all the time and we're not used to that. We were not used to that at all. Like when she was home, I, she barely got sick. Barely got sick. And barely I, got sick. And I think I get like really nervous because Raya uh, was a premature baby. Mm -hmm. um, so I like don't want to take her to the doctor. I like, cannot go to the hospital. Like I get all trauma about that. She's gotten sick a good amount of times. Like in the beginning, she got two stomach viruses and they were a week long each and she had to stay home. Both times that she got those stomach viruses, he was not home, he was Yo. out traveling and I had to take that time off of work. So it's like almost every time I travel for work or getting ready to go somewhere, she gets sick and it gets me so upset. Yes, and it is a lot of work for those of you who have children to take care of a sick child, mm -hmm. right? So um, we're back and forth to the doctor, we're doing the medicine, we're doing the home remedy to try to figure it out. She had to stay a week because she basically needed to go 24 hours without symptoms and it took a week for both stomach viruses to go away. And then like two weeks or a month, like three, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. she just had this random fever and it wasn't connected to anything. She just had a fever and she had to stay home again. I never had a cold before, any of these things, right? Mm -hmm. But now her nose is always Running, like so. always running, you know what I mean? She always has like a slight cold. She went to the daycare, this she gets sick, but they did say that they gave they, a lot of people made it clear, made it clear to us that like when she start being around more kids and start going outside more, like she's gonna uh start getting more sick, you know what I mean? I bought some um elderberry and immune system boosters for her. I'm trying to like get her immune system. Tay's doing a good job of like trying to get her immune system right. But overall, everything okay. is good. Mm -hmm. um, she hasn't been sick lately. <laughs> and uh, we're just doing the best and taking it one day at a time. So, tips. Number one, location, right? Research, 
You need to feel comfortable about where you're putting your child. You don't want to be nervous, nasty mama calling every hour. Are they okay? Did they go? Did they eat? Did they? <laughs> right? You want to feel comfortable that you leave your child somewhere and you know they're in good hands. They're okay. If mm -hmm. something happens in a very rare occasion, they will call you. Oh yes. Um. So I recommend going to a place that has an app. Her uh, her daycare does have an app, mm -hmm. which helps a lot because then I see how she's doing, I see how much she ate, I see every time she has a diaper change, they send me photos of her, and this is a little reassuring. Um, so making sure, right, that you feel comfortable with the place that is within your budget because daycare is really expensive. And last but not least, um, it's conveniently located so that you can get heavy there. Heavy on the expenses. Oh, it's heavy on the expenses. Yeah. Uh, and it's conveniently located so that you can get the to and from daycare pretty easily from uh, work or from home. So, like you said earlier, just prepare for them to be sick. You had to prepare. They're going to get sick. There's it's no if, ands, or but. Like, you just got to get them prepared to get sick. You know what I mean? Um, so you, you just got to be prepared to have a backup plan. You know what I mean? I don't know if maybe a family member that could watch them. If you can't take off work or maybe you're going to have to use your sick days. But just prepare for that because they're going to get sick. Uh, number three, I'm really particular about this, but I label everything. There are a lot of children in the school sometimes, in their class, they're all the same age. You're not the only person that shops at Carter's, the Gap, right? Make sure you write your name on your child's stuff. Make sure you label their bottles, you label uh, their diapers when you drop them off so that they just know whose um, items are whose and they can differentiate from each other. For the most part, our um, daycare, they do do labeling, but I just reinforce it by writing it in with a magic marker. So like on her bed sheets, I just write it in on the tag and things just so that they can identify it, especially in things like hats, mm -hmm. gloves, right? Notorious for children just sporadically, they just go missing. Um, we've been really good about keeping them right as hats. She's got the same hats all winter. <laughs> Uh, but it's also because we check, I check her book bag, I make sure the bottles I send her with are the bottles she come home with and all of those things. So just make sure that you're on point and remember, you know, you and your partner stay on the same page and make sure you just check the items and label them so your child can come back with their clothes oh. and <laughs> their bottles. <laughs> so last but not least. Stay in communication with the staff and the teachers. Yeah, communicate with them, say hi to them, um, ask them questions so they know that if you have any concerns that you, you will reach out to them about it and they'll reach out back to you about any concerns too. But like our daycare is really good so they can have like special days. Spirit days. So they have like tie-dye oh, yeah. day, mm -hmm. a Valentine's day, mm -hmm. we dressed up, we did culture day. Sometimes depending on the holiday they'll ask parents to bring things into the classroom for party. So we have gotten cupcakes made and we brought them apple juices so just try so, your best to be involved basically so recap yep four tips do your research and feel comfortable and be comfortable mm -hmm. with the place that you decide to sign your kid up for child care be prepared for them to get sick and come up with a backup plan be in communication with the teachers yeah. and the staff they should know Soraya's mom, Soraya's dad, <laughs> don't get this confused, parents. right? Yeah. Last but not least, try your best to be a father. I know we're all busy. Mm -hmm. um, so those spirit days, if you can contribute water to a party, whatever you can do, try your best to do what you can when you can. That's our guide. If you have any questions about our daycare experience that we did include in this video, be sure to uh, comment below. Uh, for more videos, if you want to see our daughter, she's pretty active, so she could not, she would not sit for this. I know we wanted her to be in this video, but it's, it's past her bedtime, and um, so maybe next time. You'll get to see more of her, but if you want to see more of Raya, want to see more of us, because <laughs> we're cool too, like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to our channel to join the Raya experience. experience. <laughs> Love you. Peace.